Okay, so we've had a few questions through with the technical team about the speed ratios on the Coronet Herald. So we'll take this opportunity now, I know we've been through it before, take this opportunity to show you the different speed ratios. As you can see at the moment, we're on number three. So the ratio for the number three belt, 3,890, or you can go right down to 290. So obviously that's high speed, low torque. So for your smaller work, like your pens, uh, your small goblets, you can use that one. If you want to go to number one or number two, we just press the belt ratio button and we can go to one, two or three. Just to show you while it is in three and we're on number three belt, if we start up, obviously it gets up to speed very quickly and we can go right to the top speed. So at the moment now, we're running at 3,890. We can go right back down. We take it down to just under 2,000 and we stop it there. Obviously the machine comes to a halt. If we start back up again, the machine is going to start at that speed. If we want to change the ratio, obviously we go to belt number one or belt number two. But to get the belt number two speeds, which is from 140 up to 168, even though it's showing that on there, until we actually change the belt over, I've just swiveled the head so we can see it with the camera, and we just loosen off, bring the motor towards us, and then we can just drop the belt onto the middle pulley, which is obviously ratio number two. Just the weight of the motor back down, make sure it's sat nicely in the poly V's, when you're doing that before you tighten off you can bring it back around now obviously close the lid we're on belt number two so now we've got the correct speed ratio corresponding with the belt if we start it up we're at 708 but we can go right up to 1868 and obviously stop it there and obviously it's the same procedure now if we want to go from belt number one all we do is press the button onto belt number one we change the belt over to the number one which is the speed ratio of 95 up to 1055 now that's the one with the highest torque so if you bring the heavier stuff on there the weight or you're turning a bolt which we could swivel the headstock all the way around, put the outrigger on, we can put the bigger ball on. So it's going to give you high torque on that to take care of the, the heavier work that you're going to be doing. Just one more thing while we're in that. If you do want to go into reverse, all we need to do to go into reverse is press and hold the reverse button. It's going to flash at you. You hear the bleep and then the machine's in reverse. We can then start the machine up. But then the safety of this is when we do stop the machine, it automatically goes back to forward. Now that's just a safety aspect. So you can't start the machine up in reverse by accident. Hope that's been helpful. Any more questions, come back to us and we'll see what we can do. Thank you.